We're at the Sheldon Art Galleries and we have seven new exhibits for spring that will be open through May 15th. My new position at the Sheldon Art Galleries is gallery manager. So I curate the exhibits for the galleries and I want the galleries to go in the direction of focusing on local and regional artists and young and upcoming artists as well. I think it's very important to promote what we have around us. The exhibits we have in the spring really highlight the local artists and regional with people from Lexington, Kentucky and Urbana, Illinois. In the Bellwether Gallery, we have landscape paintings by Wallace Herndon Smith from the collection of the Bellwether Foundation. Featured are oil paintings, watercolors, and for the first time on view, drawings from Wallace's sketchbooks that date from the 1930s through the 1950s. Wallace Herndon Smith was born in St. Louis, went to Washington University in the architecture program, and lived a good portion of his later life here in St. Louis. He uh, founded the Bellwether Foundation, and now they currently hold the collection of his paintings. The Gallery of Photography, we have two artists. In the first section, we have printmaker Gwen Montgomery. She's a printmaker, sculptor, and performance artist. Gwen's work focuses on what objects we focus on. So what do we collect, what do we hoard and covet, and how these objects tell our stories. We have on view sculptures from irons that she has etched into. She calls it her domestic series injuries from domestic life, and they're beautiful, beautiful etchings. In the second section of the Gallery of Photography, we have James Southard from Lexington, Kentucky. The exhibit he has featured for us is a series titled, Why Buy the Cow? James spent three years following, documenting, and interviewing small operation dairy farmers in Vermont. And the one story that came through was that large-scale dairy farms operations took over and the small farms disappeared. So James focused on one family for two years and documented their farm and their family life. In the Gallery of Architecture, we have work by Stephanie Jacobson Kirkland, who is the Deputy Director at Craft Alliance here in St. Louis. Stephanie's exhibit focuses on dynamic collages of cityscapes that examine the cities she lived in in the past and her collected memories and how they have defined who she is today. They're very colorful and very strong and it kind of shows Stephanie's personality and they're basically self-portraits of Stephanie. In the Children's Gallery, we have a strong body of work from St. Louis Community College at Merrimack. The students completed recently a body of work for the exhibit from the Department of Design, Visual, and Performing Arts. It's important at a young age to be able to show your work. It gives you encouragement to pursue a career in art. And in the Gallery of Music, we have an ongoing installation of instruments from Asia and Oceania from the Hartenberger World Music Collection. There are some incredible instruments from China, Japan, Korea, Papua New Guinea, New Zealand, Australia, and many other countries. And in the Cranesburg Gallery downstairs, we have local artist Tim Hahn. Tim's large body of work for the exhibit was completed during the pandemic. There are beautiful sculptural paintings created from wood, acrylic, and subtle drawing details. There is a great relationship between color, form, and material within the paintings that work well with one another. The Sheldon's mission here in St. Louis is to promote young artists and local and regional artists and to keep a spotlight on them. We're open five days a week. Reservations are required and you can get more information on our website, thesheldon.org.